What? Oh my god, it's like lower than 64480. And that's how CGI was born. I don't mind the soundtrack on this. It's different. It's not that different from the other Sonic games. However, the play style is very strange. What sort of cutscene is this? It's not really a sequel to Sonic and Knuckles, is it? It's like going back in time or something. They're not really following on from the storyline. Like the epic events they set up in S and K. Okay, let's skip all this crazy nonsense. Oh, you got whole diagonal D-pad keys to get around. How do you? How do you duck when you're standing already? That's jump. Uh, so for me, Q is jump, W is spin. This is a uh, very ponderous movement. Oh. oh, I'm gonna walk up to the actual flickies that come out of the bad necks on this, aren't I? I'm gonna walk up to them. Oh! Hold on, what was it? I've got a duck. That's W. So I actually pick up the birds now. How do I pick them up? You gotta walk directly on top of them. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can't quite fully convey how difficult this movement system is. I think even when I was playing it on the um, on the Mega Drive with the, with the gamepad, it was still difficult. Uh, oh, what was it? Oh yeah, W to spin. Come back. And then you have to harvest the birds by chucking them in a ring and that's how you get out of the level when you get all five birds or whatever rabbits it's a mine there's another bad mix so that's what I'm looking for Oh, do I lose a bird for that? Oh no, I've got to lose my rings to lose a bird, I think. Ah, oh. Di holding diagonal keys is not good. No! How do you orient? How do you line yourself up? You've got to use the grid on the ground and try and follow it diagonally by holding two keys. Doesn't that mean I can leave? Oh yeah, I can leave. No, I can't properly leave. So not only do you have zones... Come here. Come here. Come the... <laughs> Come here! Uh, so that's a mine, so I jump it. Oh! can jump it in time. I lost a bird that time. I mean, they set up an interesting dynamic for what happens to the birds that come out of the badniks when you destroy them, but it would be an interesting dynamic for a 2D game? This 3D... I mean, this isn't even... you can't even call this 3D, it's like... bad isometric. I mean, it's not even like Diablo isometric, it's just... Oh. Imagine playing Diablo 
but you have to use the cursors to move. Or the D-pad on a gamepad or whatever. And your your character moves at high speed and slips off everything and takes ages to turn around. Despite moving at high speed. And you've arrived at this madness. I'm amazed I managed to do that. Ugh! Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you many levels of this, because... Oh. I did actually, I think when I first played it, I did actually make, make it to the completion of the game, but... God, I, I must have had the patience... I must have had mad patience to be able to do that. Like an obsessive fan um, dedication to Sonic the Hedgehog at the time. Something like that. What the hell? Oh! Uh, nope, that's jump. This is roll. Fuck! That's not even a bad neck, is it? You can't whack gun turrets. Let's try and kill it. Nope. Well, that's weird. It's like some kind of Escher environment. Uh, uh, uh. I swear the the controls on this are crazy. There are some games that just have really difficult controls and you think you're gonna play a simple game but then you get ridiculously hard controls and this is one of those games. I don't know how they thought this would ever work. One bird left. Where the fuck are you, single bird? Single bird? There we go, there's a weird wasp. Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I will get you, bird. Eventually, I will get you. Right, where do I... Okay, I can't go up there to get back. Go through the MC Escher waterfall. I am out of here. I am... Yeah, beam me up. Why is Sonic being beamed up? Is this the Star Trek years? 